Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Jaffe, founder and chief medical officer at River Chase Dermatology. I'm also a fellowship trained Mohs surgeon. I'd like to walk you through the process and the patient experience for those of you who are coming here to River Chase for Mohs surgery. Mohs micrographic surgery is the most effective and advanced treatment for skin cancer today. It offers the highest potential for cure with up to a 99% success rate. Skin cancers can be deceptively small on the surface of the skin, and to remove it completely requires microscopic examination of the cells. Mohs surgery treats skin cancer through a highly specialized and precise technique that removes the cancer in stages, one tissue layer at a time. This type of pinpointed accuracy minimizes the chance of cancer regrowth, preserves the most healthy skin cells, and lessens the potential for scarring. Because of Mohs surgery's high cure rate, most patients require only a single surgery. The patient checks in and gets escorted to an exam room. The Mohs surgeon comes in to discuss Hi, the biopsy results. My name is Dr. Cobert. It's so nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Oh, well, your pathology showed that you had a basal cell on your forehead. Do you have any questions about the Mohs surgery that we'll be performing today? No, your assistant did a great job explaining everything. Thank you. She's wonderful. So perfect. Well, I will just start by marking the area and then I'll step out while Sarah makes you numb and nice and comfortable. And then I'll be right back to get it taken care of for you. That sounds great. Thank you. We perform these surgeries in our outpatient offices. Because we go layer by layer to remove all cancerous tissue, please plan to be here for most of the day. You will be awake during your procedure and a local anesthetic will be applied around the area of the tumor. You are completely numb in the area of the surgery, so the procedure is comfortable. After the area has been numbed, the Mohs surgeon will remove the visible tumor, along with a thin okay. layer of surrounding That's tissue. Amazing. Our technician will then prepare the tissue on a slide for the surgeon to examine under a microscope. If the surgeon sees evidence of cancer around the outer edges of the removed tissues, they will then take another layer of tissue from where the cancer was detected. The reason we repeat this process is to ensure that all cancerous tissue is removed while minimizing the loss of healthy tissue. After each stage, a dressing is applied and you will return to the waiting room while the tissue is prepared and analyzed under the microscope. The waiting rooms may be cold for some, so we recommend bringing a blanket or sweater to keep comfortable. There are also light refreshments available. We will repeat these steps until all samples are cancer-free, or what we term clear margins. Well, you heard the good news. All the skin cancer is out. So at this point, we will put everything back together for you. Okay. So that involves putting in two layers of stitches, an under layer, which dissolves on its own, and a top layer that we'll take out for you in one week. Okay. okay. Um, when we bring the circle together, we bring it together in a straight line. So it lengthens the scar a little bit, but it lays nice and flat, and we'll hide it right along your hairline. Oh, that's great. <laughs> on the day of the surgery, Please continue your normal medication unless otherwise instructed by prescribing provider. We encourage you to eat a good breakfast as you may be with us for most of the day. Your time in the office will depend on the size of the tumor as well as the extent of the repair required. We ask that you arrive 15 minutes early to allow our front desk team to gather any additional information or forms required. I would not plan to have any other appointments or activities scheduled for the day of Mohs surgery. Once the surgery is complete and the wound is closed, you will have a dressing in place that applies pressure to the incision to help prevent bleeding. It is common for wounds to ooze some blood for a few hours after surgery. This should be minimal. We hope you found this educational video informative. Thank you for entrusting us with your care.